Black Mischief is a satirical novel by Evelyn Waugh, first published in 1932. Set on the fictional African island of Azania, the story is a critique of both colonial intervention and the naivete of post-colonial modernization attempts. The novel follows the character Basil Seal, a charming yet scheming Englishman who is simultaneously shrewd and feckless. He travels to Azania, where his acquaintance, Emperor Seth, has recently taken power after being educated in England. Seth, excited by the possibilities of modernizing his nation, wants to transform Azania into a contemporary society overnight and thinks that Basil, with his seeming worldliness, is the man to help him. Basil arrives in a chaotic Azania, where ancient traditions still run deep, but are becoming contorted by the flawed application of modern concepts. Seth is surrounded by various advisors and sycophants, including a French chef named Balan, who is also the emperor's minister of fine arts, and the sinister minister of modernization, Krikor Yukumian. Seth plans a birth control gala in a misguided effort to reduce the population, which results in comedy and confusion among the Azanian people who misunderstand and mock the concept. As Seth embarks on his quixotic reforms, including plans for a new currency, a new capital city, and other radical undertakings, Seal maneuvers himself into a position of influence. He becomes the emperor's confidant and leverages his position for his own gain, betting Seth's fiancée, the Empress Prudence, along the way. Prudence, a well-meaning Western woman, is portrayed as out of touch with the reality of Azanian life and nervous about its alien customs. The narrative depicts various British and foreign expatriates living in Azania, including diplomats and merchants who form a microcosmic colonial society. They view the emperor's efforts with a blend of amusement and condescension, representing the attitudes of colonial power towards the local cultures they ostensibly govern. Throughout the novel, there are episodes of farce and black comedy, such as a disastrous ceremonial parade involving a mechanical tortoise and the tragic comic consequences of the emperor's attempts to institute a modern judiciary and education system. These efforts are undermined by the deeply rooted yet misunderstood local customs and the self-interest of the emperor's entourage. The social experiment comes to a head when a rival claimant to the throne, General Connolly, launches a counter-revolution. The insurrection plunges the country into chaos, with scenes of comic ineptitude among the emperor's forces segueing into brutality and horror as the revolution escalates. Basil attempts to maintain his position by playing both sides against each other, displaying both pragmatism and a lack of loyalty in the process. The situation deteriorates rapidly as Seth's dream of a modern Azanian empire disintegrates. The disarray is further compounded by the inappropriate intervention of the British consul and other foreign diplomats who attempt to navigate the crisis, often misreading the situation and exacerbating the conflict through their ignorance and cultural arrogance. Seal's machinations become increasingly desperate as he tries to salvage something from the situation. In the end, General Connolly's troops overrun the capital. The emperor is captured and executed in a brutal fashion, which is typical of Waugh's darkly comedic tone, a disturbing mix of the horrifying and the absurd. With the collapse of Seth's regime, Azania returns to its former state of disarray, suggesting that the effects of the attempted modernization were both superficial and transient. Basil Seal, ever the opportunist, manages to escape with the help of prudence. Yet the society they leave behind is hardly better for their efforts. The novel concludes with a satirical portrayal of the returning status quo, underscoring the futility of the entire venture and implying that both the pretensions of the colonizers and the misguided ambitions of the indigenous rulers are equally flawed. The foreigners retreat to their comfortable lives, taking with them tales of exotic adventure, while the Azanians are left with the remnants of distorted progress and upheaval. Black Mischief is thus a dark comedy about the absurdity and tragedy of cultural misunderstandings and the misapplication of modern ideals in societies not yet ready or simply unwilling to adopt them. Waugh's novel remains a biting critique of imperialism, showing how both colonial exploiters and ambitious local leaders can be equally culpable in the mishandling of cultural change.